Imagine if you never had to manually create a document again. If it was all driven instead by your database or your, your uh, back-end system and documents were created manually that were unique for every customer that you have and they were sent out automatically for signature. Well, that is exactly what we're going to tackle in this video. As you can probably imagine, this is going to wind up saving a ton of time, especially if you have a document-heavy type of business. So without further ado, let's just get on into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help businesses build automated back-end systems that help them maximize the efficiency of their business. Now, in this video, as I said, we're going to be going into how you can build a process around your document creation so that it is fully automated and that it gets sent out to recipients for signature. Uh, but before we get to it, if you are new to this channel and you want to check out more on automation and learn more tips on how to use Airtable efficiently, be sure to click subscribe at the bottom of this video somewhere uh, and give this a thumbs up so that you don't miss out on our future content. That being said though, let's just jump on into my screen here. So what you see in front of you is the Airtable setup. And so we're going to imagine a scenario here where we've got uh, you know, a bunch of different contacts that live in our contacts table. And then we link to the contacts table in when, whenever we create some sort of a contract. So for this example, we're sending out an agreement uh, and you could have any number of different contracts that you might send out, right? In this case, we're just going to select send agreement, but it could be any number of different contracts. And this same automation could be built for every single process that you have documentation wise. Okay. So what we're doing here is we are creating a new uh, contract by bringing in the contact information. So if you're not familiar with the lookup field, this is going to come into play here. The lookup field is a way that we're going to bring in data that exists in another table. So we need specifically to know what the contact's email is, the contact's company name, and some other variables. And we'll go into those. But the important thing is that they exist in the contacts level and that we bring them in through the lookup field. And that means that once we've established the linked relationship to the contact, that we know what those other data points are. And we can uh, go ahead and, and illustrate those here by, for example, bringing in the contact company. You see, this is a lookup here. And so we know that the company name that Yosemite Sam is working with is signature example. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hide this back, but just know that these things are working underneath the surface here. Uh, and so if you need any additional uh, advice on setting that up, be sure to look at the Airtable lookup field. All right, so this is a two-parter in part. Well, let me, let me be more precise. First of all, we're going to build an automation that takes this uh, new agreement in Airtable and it creates a document inside of a software called DocuPilot. And DocuPilot allows us to have a template that has merge tags in it. And each one of those tags, we're going to relate to a data point in Airtable. So for example, we might say, uh, fill in the client name here, and then we point to the client name in Airtable and plug it in. And so really easily, that document's created in the cloud through DocuPilot. Now the second part of this, after that happens in Zapier, every time a new document is created inside of DocuPilot, as the second step, then we will say, and now send an email uh, through a signature uh, software. In this case, we're going to use sign request. So let's go into how we set all this up. All right, so first and foremost, let's jump into DocuPilot and take a look at this. So the first part of this is we have our document and we add a document here just by going to upload a new version. So if we were to drop into our um, documents here, we have you know different folders. In this case, we might have a retainer agreement and we have our retainer agreement here. And you can see that the file that we already have uploaded for this example has a lot of things that don't really make a ton of sense. And this is how we write these merge tags inside of DocuPilot. So we're, we are going to tell it, you know, this is where we're going to bring in the client first name and the last name. This is where we bring in the client company and the client email, right? And we can have all sorts of these things all throughout the document. Then we go into preferences. We can set up the name of the document. We can even include these merge tags so that the name of the document updates every time. 
All right. Actually, let me go ahead and add a little colon in here and save that change. And then down here, we need to choose a delivery mechanism. Now here we are going to use sign now, and we've already set this up inside of sign now. The advantage to sign now is that inside of our document, we can actually include the signature tags. Sign now is going to read those and it knows this is where a signature needs to go. So if we drop back into our document and we scroll down to the very bottom of this example, you'll see that we have these funny looking things here inside of single squiggly brackets. And this is basically telling sign now, hey, right here, this spot needs to uh, take the signature from signer one. And this spot needs to accept the date from signer one. And then inside of the configure setup here, we connect our sign now account. We name this automation and we give the email subject a name as well. This needs to match. Signer one is going to match the tags that we had on the document. And then we need to make sure that we're sending this to the client email. And then we can give it a little bit of a, you know, blurb here and, you know, give them some instruction about, you know, what to expect for next steps. All right. So that's how we build the automation inside of DocuPilot and how we get it to create this document for us. Let's take a look at what the automation looks like inside of Zapier. So this is going to be, for this case, a three-step Zap. We're looking for a new record in a view in Airtable. So let's jump back into Airtable really quickly. And here we have our agreements and we have a specific view built for send agreement automation. And inside of this view, we have a number of filters set up. Uh, but the most important one in this case is that we're looking for the outcome that is unique to this document. So we're looking for send agreement. If that doesn't show up, then no records will be in this. And so once a new record appears in here, that's what we want to trigger the automation. So just to you know, kind of showcase this, we could create a new one here, a new uh, document for Yosemite Sam, and we'll see that it's not showing up here yet. We only have two, but once we change that outcome to send agreement and we apply the other filters as well, for example, giving it estimated hours for the project and things like that, then it's going to create this automation. We'll come back to this in just a moment. But once we have that new record in the view, then we are going to set up, uh, this is a little date formatter. So what we're taking here is the date that comes from Airtable is in Unix. And this is virtually unreadable for most people. So we want to transform this into something that makes sense uh, inside of an agreement. And so here we are going to use this data from Airtable and transform it into the full, you know, this is, you know, writing out the month with the day, comma, and then the four digit year. So that's what we're doing here is we're just formatting the, uh, the date. And then we're going to push this to DocuPilot. And so in our third step, third and final step of this automation, we create the document. First, we have to connect our DocuPilot account. Then on the template, we're going to directly tell it what data in Airtable is pointing to all of these different merge tags that we included in the document. Now, if any of these are left blank, then the document won't be filled out. So make sure that all of these correspond to something in the document and that, uh, and that we fill it out for everything. All right, so let's go ahead and jump out of here and we'll go back to our dashboard here and let's set this up. We'll send the agreement, which means that now it should be available as the third record in this specific view. So Zapier is now going to see it, but I'm gonna run it manually. Zapier would normally take five minutes uh, to 15 minutes, depending on what plan you're on. And we see that Zapier saw that new record it, uh, it's formatting the date and it takes a minute, but now it's created that document in DocuPilot. Now I set this up to send to my own uh, personal email. So let's take a look and see if we received anything there. You can bring this into my other window. And this is what just came in. Uh, and so you see that we're bringing in information that was unique to that record. Uh, in this example, we have, you know, Yosemite Sam is the, uh, the character that we're sending to. And so it's addressed to, uh, to him. And we can then, as the client, just respond to this email by opening this document. I'm going to open it up in an incog window. 
and take a look at what the document looks like from the client perspective. So, you know, we, we get a little thing here that says, you know, Gareth has invited you to fill this out. Please sign, get started. And we can see the document now. All of the fields in the document, and again, let me flip back to my, uh, my previous one. If we were looking at the document itself inside of DocuPilot, remember these document, uh, or the document has all these tags, right? Client first name, client last name, etc. Well, for our purposes, let's find that again. Once we bring that document in, or once we create this document, it's getting filled out with that information in Airtable. So we don't have to manually put this in. And so now we have the client name, the client um, you know, example business, and then of course my personal email here. Uh, all of this information then is unique for the client. And then we get to the bottom and the client has the opportunity to sign the document. And I can go ahead and uh, you know create a signature here, like so they will uh, type their type their you know name in or, or otherwise sign the document and add that signature then the date gets filled out as well and once that's done the client needs to just click done now once that's finished the client is going to receive an email with the uh, fully automated document uh, for available for download but also you as the business are going to receive that notification as well and here, this is now an entirely automated process. All you need to do now in order to create this document every time is to go into your Airtable database, select the contact, and select the type of document, and that's it. Everything else is done for you, documents created, the client receives the information and the document, and can sign electronically then and there. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you have some business questions that you'd like to run by us, definitely swing by our website. The link will be in the description and we offer up time so that we can hop on a call with you. You can book directly there and we can set something up that works for both of us. What we'll be discussing is building a solution for you that puts all of your data in one place and gives you a nice concise dashboard so that you know what's happening in your business at all times. Additionally, we will work on building custom bespoke automation for you so that you can eliminate the time that you spend on repetitive tasks and save countless hours every week. So if that's of interest, definitely swing by our website and check out the different offers that we have there.